Well, hello and welcome everybody to today's Spotlight interview. I'm Gabe Storman. I'm a Senior Business Program Manager on the Employee Experience Team. I'm joined today by Daniel Manalo, who is a Senior Service Engineer at MDEE. And the topic for today is device management. Daniel, I understand you have a very busy schedule, so thank you very much for providing us some of your time to talk about this topic. My pleasure. Thanks, Gabe. So let's dive right into the questions. The first one um, will come no, as no surprise to you that device management is one of the most popular topics that we receive at, uh, for customer engagements. So the first question is, why is this such a popular topic for our customers? Yeah, great question. So the reason why device management is a popular topic is uh, consider your work environment as your home environment. You have your set of computers or maybe a single computer at your house and you wanna be sure that it, all the security updates are up to date, dr device drivers are up to date, everything's functioning as expected. Expand that to an enterprise level uh, environment where there may be thousands or tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of devices. You still have to maintain security updates. You still have to ensure your drivers are up to date. Functionality is present. And so that's why device management is so important for a, uh, an enterprise environment. Okay, so I know that modernization story is important to get to. Can you talk a little bit more about what the modernization journey has been like for Microsoft? Absolutely. So the modernization journey has taken more than five years for our environment at Microsoft. A lot of that is based on hard dependencies at Microsoft. Some of our build mechanisms uh, have hard dependencies on uh, on-prem or Active Directory uh, traditional uh, environment. Uh, there's also the sheer business cost of mig migrating a complex operating system such as Windows 10 and Windows 11 to a new uh, device management system. With that in mind and how long it took for this journey, we actually implemented uh, something called co-management with the product group. And that takes uh, a lot of the pieces that you rely on from your traditional managed environment along with some of the pieces from the cloud-based into managed environment and uh, allow them to operate on a device at the same time. So when we're also when we're talking about device management, I understand we're talking about a very complex array of devices, and that includes corporate devices, but it also includes personal devices. Can you talk about that mix a little bit? Absolutely. The complex set of devices we've been discussing include iOS, Mac OS, Android, and even some Linux support. We of course support Windows PC, both corporate owned and personally owned, sometimes referred to as BYOD or bring your own device. So my final question to cover with you today was regarding zero trust. I know that is an aspect of device management. Um, can you explain how zero trust is incorporated into device management and how it allows corporate access to personal devices? Yes, uh, zero trust is really a set of principles and they can mean uh, different things to different people, different companies within your own company. At Microsoft, we really ensure that a set of zero trust principles uh, are enforced using conditional access policies. So if a user is attested via uh, multi-factor authentication, and if the device is attested via de various device health checks, then the device can access corporate resources. So an example of some of these device health checks are a minimum operating system, anti-malware installed, and the device is malware free, application control, and a host of other conditional access checks. If the user is attested via multi-factor authentication and the device is attested via these device health checks, then the device can access corporate resources. These checks are not only a one-time check, but they are a consistent check as the device uh, operating system may uh, have a security update. We ensure that the device still meets those minimum operating system requirements. And if it doesn't, the device will go into a non-compliant state and eventually lose access to corporate resources. We ensure that the user has all the information available to them regarding why their device is not compliant, how they can mitigate that non-compliance, and the time or grace period they have to take care of the issue. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time again, Daniel. I really appreciate you offering your insights and your knowledge on this topic of device management. Absolutely, anytime. Thanks, Gabe.